Hey guys, what's up? Scott Lennox and Kristen Lennox here from Fishing OC. What's up? Thanks for visiting us here on the channel. If you're new to the channel, we appreciate you tuning in. Um, nice day, man. It's one of the nicest days we've had here in Ocean City in quite a little while. So we're going to take advantage of it and go do some fishing. Um, there's a couple more flounder being caught in the bay since I caught that first one last week. And the rock fishing up at the Route 90 bridge is like out of this world. So we know we can always go to that as a uh, fallback. So we'll try some flounders for a little bit. Uh, try some rockfish after that. And hope you enjoy the video. Oh yeah, yeah, keep an oar. Keep an oar, huh? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah, dude! Looks like a keeper. Hell yeah, it does! Nice fish! Chartreuse? Wake up! Yes! Hang tight! Yeah, man! Look at that! Look at that, there he is again. Bottom hook. That's definitely a keeper. Chartreuse, deadly double. Five inch white gulp, just like my fish last week. Yeah, let's give him a look-see. Perch flounder, 2022, let's go. Zero on the measuring board. 18 inches, bro! <laughs> yeah! Nice. Yeah! Here, look, okay, I had to spin the camera, yeah. Here, let me have it. Oh, here you go. Yeah, your fish, your spotlight. Don't drop my overboard. <laughs> Nice! I'm gonna take a look. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. What's going on? He went up the top hook. Yeah, he went top hook. Look at that. There he is. Top hook. Oh, he crapped on my boat. Top hook, chartreuse deadly double. This one, however, on a four inch white gulp. Four inch white gulp right there came after the top one. And take a look at that. Here's what they're eating. They're eating these grass shrimp. Take a look at that grass shrimp. They're up here eating these grass shrimp like they do every spring. And they're full of them, man. This guy just crapped all over my boat. Yeah, let's give him a look-see. Gonna be close. Seventeen, homeboy! <laughs> yeah! Nice! Look at all this grass shrimp poop. <laughs> oh what? Oh, that's a fish. Gotcha. Gotcha. Come on up, son. Oh yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> That's a stud. That's the biggest one today. Yeah. Heck yeah. What is up, brother? Flippity floppity. Yeah. There it is again, man. Look at this. This thing is on fire, hun. Here's up quick. Grill this in, please. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> that should do it. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. Wind's blowing a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Man, this spot where we're fishing, it's real, real slim from the west to the east. And this wind is blowing us across this channel pretty quick. Always windier than they say it'll be in April, but let me get us back to straight. Show you what's up. All right, there we go. That'll give me a couple of seconds. Yeah! But check this out, man. This chartreuse deadly double. This chartreuse deadly double on that five inch white gulp is on fire. That's three fish for me this season and three keepers. I guarantee this is a keeper. Oh, he wanted to keep that one. <laughs> keep an eye on us for a second. Zero. Oh, I call that fish 21, bro. 21. Yeah. Yeah. 21. It's going to be a good dinner. All right, there we go, man. Three really, really nice fish. 17, 18, and 21. Nice and fat, too. Gonna get some really great fillets off these bad boys. Really surprised us. Uh, it's the nicest day we've had in quite a while, even though it's a little bit windy. But the temperatures have gotten up into the upper 60s, so really great day to come out here and try it. We were gonna fish for flounder for a little bit, uh, and then go try those rockfish at Route 90 again, but we didn't even think about going to Route 90 because the flounder were down here snapping pretty good. Caught three fish, missed another one. Now, let's head to the cleaning table. All right, man, caught a couple of really nice fish, 17, 18, and 21. And the middle part of our catch, clean, and cook, obviously, is the clean. So I got Kristen's 18-incher here, nice fat fish. Gonna get some really nice fillets off of this bad boy. Got a dark side and a white side. I like to start on the dark side because that fillet is a little bit thicker. And I like to fillet my flounder into four different pieces. You can have one if you're gonna do a stuffed flounder dish or something like that. Um, you can do one fillet off, but I'm gonna show you how to do it in four pieces because we're gonna be having fried flounder sandwiches. Uh, so four is just a little bit easier. And by the time we make it, we're gonna have four pieces anyway. Start at the top of the head, make an incision, and then make a little bit of a curve down toward the belly. Put the edge of your knife on his lateral line. Work that toward the tail. Make a notch in the base of the tail. Put the point of my knife in the middle part of that fillet and work down the backbone. Same thing up the top here. This is where you'll see some backbone and guts down here. You can avoid that by doing this. And then as you work your fillet toward, or knife toward the back, you're just gonna lift up with your thumb and steady work it back and forth. Just like that. Get to the top, clear that fillet off. That one's ready to roll. Now you can insert your knife at the top of that fillet on the bottom side, out by the anal vent, pull that off. Same thing, working your knife always right along that backbone until you get free. Pull the filets off, a couple of nice fillets. White side next, notch at the top of the head. Make my curved incision around the guts. Knife goes down along the lateral line. Actually, you can see it moving there. So put your knife down along the lateral line. If you hit any of those nerves, it'll actually make these finlets on the top and bottom move. Notch on the white side, too. Knife goes in. Work it down the backbone. You want to try and get this stuff clear so you can insert your thumb without cutting yourself and work that fillet back and forth. The white side's a little bit tougher because it's it's much thinner than the dark side. Just take your time, be careful. Most importantly, don't cut yourself. Bottom of the fillet, that's ready to roll. And once you get that one side of both of these off, dark and white, it's a little bit easier to get to that next fillet. There we go. part off get off there we go okay you can see light through that bad boy so i did a pretty decent job there and then i'll show you real quick how to skin one off put it on the edge of the table as close as you can get it to yourself and you're going to put your knife at a 45 degree angle leave that little teeny bit to hold on to and once you get down to the skin 
you're gonna start cutting and then you can basically leave the knife where it is and just pull the fillet towards you pulling that skin towards you as you shimmy the knife back and forth and it'll pull that skin completely off zero bones in that fillet if you did it right and then we take this to the kitchen all right so caught a couple of nice fish today uh, really surprised that we caught a keeper at all but we ended up with three fish 17 18 and 21 inches and now we're going to make some awesome fried fish sandwiches hi we're going to make fried panko fish sandwiches so first we're just going to do a simple flour egg wash panko breadcrumbs salt and pepper put them in the frying pan back there and fry them up till crispy Now I'm putting it in the egg wash. I'm gonna to try to get the extra off of there before I stick it into my breadcrumbs. And over here, we've got the panko breadcrumbs. They are different from regular breadcrumbs. Uh, they're also known as Japanese breadcrumbs and we think that they taste a little bit crispier and taste a little bit better. So if you haven't tried panko breadcrumbs before, I highly recommend that you give them a shot on the next time you're frying up chicken or fish or anything else that you want. Then we'll go over and we'll finish the rest of our fillets. So we just do flour to start, shake off the excess, egg wash. And then if, if you're able to remember to do it, it's good to do left hand for flour and egg wash and then right hand for breadcrumbs. That way you're not mixing it all up. Sometimes I forget, but we don't fry that much food, even though we really like it. Yeah, so there she is. Kristen's got these all taken care of now. I'm the fry daddy. All right, so great job, hon. These look beautiful. These are gonna fry up really, really nice and crispy. Oil's hot, we do this like medium high heat. It's just gonna be a couple of minutes. The cat <laughs> wants some of this. He can smell it around the corner. He's already meowing at me, but let's go ahead and drop these in here. Always lay these fillets away from you because you don't want any splash coming down on you. And when you hear that sizzle when you drop them in, you know you've done it right. I don't want to overcrowd the pan, so I'm going to do three fillets, and then we'll cook the last two. Yeah! Got my handy dandy fish flipper. Just invested in this the other day. Look at that popping and sizzling. Yeah! And it's only going to be a couple of minutes, fam. Flounder's very thin fish, um, so it won't take long at all. It's just going to be about 30, 30 to 45 seconds on each side. Once it gets crispy, I'm going to go ahead and flip it because I don't want to get it getting uh, burnt on one side before I can get the other side cooked. That's kind of nice. I like that fish flipper. All right. That was, that was only 30 seconds or so. Let this side settle in. Yeah, look at that. Not falling apart like last time. Smells really good. Ooh. Oh, that side looks nice and crispy yeah, right there. It's got a deep fryer at home. This works really easily, man. You drop it in the fry basket, drop it down in the oil, um, and just check it every you know, minute or so. If you don't, just find a you know 10 inch skillet, 13 inch skillet, whatever they call these. Put like a quarter of an inch of oil or so in it. Medium high heat. Wait till it gets hot and bam. All right, that should do it. Really like this fish flipper. That's nice. And you see how crispy that this panko breadcrumbs make this. That is really, really nice. Yeah, look at that. All right, man. We'll get these other two fried up, make some sandwiches. All right, man, there you go. There you go. 
Fried flounder a la Lennox. Yeah. <laughs> First of many to come. Nice sure. job, man. That yes. was pretty surprising. We were, we were thinking about maybe going rock fishing uh, if we didn't catch any flounder. There hadn't been a lot of flounder caught. I caught the first fish on April 3rd. Right. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> still nice come, fish. Still haven't come down from that yet. We've only seen one flounder caught since Yeah, we've, that only, we've only had yeah. other one, one other one reported to us. 13? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, today's, today's oh. the 12th. So we only had other, one other fish reported to us. I've heard of another one or two, but not like a lot of fish out in the bay. So we figured we'd go out and try it for a little bit uh, and then go catch some rockfish, maybe make a video for you guys on the rockfish up at the Route 90 Bridge and get Kristen in it. But man, second drift. It was fun. Boom, second drift. She hooks up an 18, first fish of the season for her. And then uh, two subsequent fish after that, 17 for me and a nice big fat 21. Yeah. Um, we're gonna make that into another recipe that we'll have down the line there. We're having Gary nice. Beach's Bur Blanc, uh, but look at these things. I use a whole fillet on mine. One of those. That's why we do it in four pieces, like I showed you during the cleaning, because it fits perfectly on something like this. Ryan and Kristen like the uh, potato, rolls, potato rolls, and I like the uh, Hawaiian. I like the Hawaiian mini sub rolls because it fits on there perfectly. A little bit of tartar sauce. Yeah. I have a reminder for everyone too. Um, it's easier to remember your sunscreen in the summertime when it's hot. <laughs> But I don't know if you can see my face and how red it is right now. Don't forget it in the spring yeah. and the fall like I did today. And I didn't bring a hat either. This video is burning. not color corrected. <laughs> yeah, it's like burning. Nice work. Thank you. Let's try this out. Can't wait to eat this. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Delicious. It's really good. Mm. That's the difference between the panko and just plain breadcrumbs. The panko is crunchier. So often. I don't know how we found out about it, but mm. somebody told us about it. Mm -hmm. We got never gone back. Guys, we're going to be catching, cooking, cleaning, all kinds of stuff all season long. We appreciate you being along with us. <clears throat> Make sure you check out our show, Hooked on OC, on Sunday mornings on 47 ABC. Check them out here on YouTube as well, youtube.com forward slash unseen pro. All kinds of videos over there. And then it's us for fishing and stuff. I fish in OC on Instagram, fish in OC on Facebook. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the videos, uh, subscribe to the channel. Comment on the videos below. We'll answer any questions you have. And like us on our social media. Right? Yeah. All right. See you, see you next, next time. time. That's so good. It's really good. Oh, my God. Ryan, come on down.